lot of my videos feature African wildlife, but it's time to think globally and act locally, whatever that means. I know what you're thinking, local wildlife sucks, but not really, some of it's pretty cool. I'm only about a mile or two away from my house, let's go into the woods and see what we can find, besides mosquito. I live in Brookfield, which is a part of Cook County in Illinois. We have over 68,000 protective acres of forest preserves in Cook County, Illinois. These forests make for a nice place to relax and take an emotional break from the crowded city of Chicago with all of its crazy potholes, parking meters, and homicides. One of the first things I came upon is a rabbit. Now this is a cottontail rabbit. They're found all over Illinois and as well as all over the United States. They get that name cottontail, well you can kind of tell why. This is the American Robin. They are often found on the ground looking for insects. They don't ever seem to hold still. A cool fact about these birds is that they actually lay blue eggs. This is Salt Creek that runs through a lot of the forest preserves around my house. Now that guy there, that's pretty far away. That's either a beaver or a muskrat. Bullfrog. Now because these forest preserves aren't all one big chunk, which is unfortunate for the animal populations, they come right up to areas where people live. These roads that circle around these forest preserves often act as a hazard. That's why we see so many roadkill. Now this here is a fox squirrel. They call it a fox squirrel, well, because it looks like a fox. Look at a bushy tail. This little guy, it looks like a gray squirrel. The gray squirrel is called the gray squirrel because it is gray. <laughs> While walking around, it's important to read your signs. This one is warning us of exotic animals, not so much like a giraffe, but little invasive species that can cling onto your boat as you pull it out of the creek. And there's a lot of cool signs, like this one that tells me that this is poison ivy. Now the next animal I'm hoping to see is one I often see in the evening time from my headlights in the car, but let's see. Looking for it in the afternoon is kind of hard, but I am a professional. There we go, a white-tailed deer. This little girl's having herself a nice meal. If you remain quiet enough, they will stay around for a little while. The white-tailed deer is our state animal. I salute you. Adopted 1982. In other useless information, the state insect is the monarch butterfly. Adopted 1975. It wasn't too long before I came upon this one, taking a little break. On my way out of the trail, I felt these little eyes looking at me. A quick turn to the left, and it's the friends, the little raccoons. Unfortunately, raccoons are clever little guys, so unless you have a closed trash can, this is usually what you'll see. And it's important to clean up the trash, as this little plastic bag here can outlast every animal in the forest preserve. This mama was doing a good job making sure her little ones were following her up the tree. From up there, they can get a better look at me and in result, I can get a better look at them. I like raccoons. Next to skunks, they're one of my favorite little things to find in the woods. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. If you like what you see, you can protect the forest by becoming a friend of the Forest Preserve, like I did. That link and other cool information can be found in the description of this video. And if you want to, upload a video response and tell me what animals that you have in your area that you think are cool. And as always, thanks for watching. That's good enough.